Well, I'm sure glad Nancy Pelosi kicked Marjorie Taylor Greene off her committees because it has given her the opportunity to prepare this report, which constitutes the most rigorous oversight work Republicans have done in the 117th Congress. And Lord help them when Dr. Gosar is able to join Congresswoman Greene's efforts uh, with even more of his time. How many and who's next? That's what we're wondering. It's been 47 days since Attorney General Garland came to the House Judiciary Committee and misled our committee regarding the targeting of parents as domestic terrorists for attending school board meetings and having their voice heard. Because who's next? Is it going to be the parents who find themselves in the conditions that we see from the January 6 detainees? It's the January 6 detainees who are denied basic access to medical care and constitutional rights today. But tomorrow, it could be the school board parents. The day after that, the rest of us, all of you. It has been 174 days since my colleagues and I sent a letter to FBI Director Ray asking basic questions about the FBI's involvement in January 6th. Americans should not be languishing in hideous, unconstitutional conditions waiting for basic answers like this, waiting for basic answers regarding evidence, waiting for access to counsel. This report must be a guidepost for ongoing Republican oversight effort in the Congress because we are going to take power after this next election. And when we do, it's not going to be the days of Paul Ryan and Trey Gowdy and no real oversight and no real subpoenas. It's going to be the days of Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Dr. Gosar and myself doing everything to get the answers to these questions. So Congresswoman Greene and Mr. Gohmert's work here have, have been absolutely critical. Uh, Judge Gohmert's legal analysis as, as a jurist is woven throughout this work product and incredibly helpful. And we are going to get the answers to these questions because this should not be happening in the United States of America. I would yield. Wasn't the days of Paul Ryan and Trey Gowdy and no real oversight. It's going to be the days of Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Can you expound a little bit on what the days of Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene are going to look like? Yeah, we're going to send subpoenas. We're going to conduct real oversight. We're going to show up in person and get answers. The notion that Republicans are going to take control of the House and we're going to hold hands in the warm spring rain with the Democrats and legislate is ludicrous. We have to make promises to our voters to get answers to these questions that we hear in our towns and in our communities. And when we get the power back, that ought to be our organizing principle. And this document that Congresswoman Green and Mr. Gro and Congressman Gohmert led in preparing ought to be a guidepost in that effort. Yeah, just and it, that yeah sure. Well, at this rate, I don't know that too many members of the January 6th committee are going to be back, but we'll see. Uh, uh, yes, sir. If you do this with the House, would you want uh, ex-President Trump uh, to be speaker? I would. Have you talked to him about it? I have. And what did he say? Oh, I keep my conversations with the former president uh, between the two of us.